Hello, Shenandoah School community. This is Dr. Robinson. I'm standing outside. It's a nice sunny day and enjoying the last nice sunny day of our school year. As I'm standing here on our new turf field that we're constructing next to Coda Middle School, if you haven't been on campus yet, um, this is a part of an uh, improvement that's taking place. And the reason why I'm standing here because in many ways it's, sim it's symbolic of our focus going into the 22-23 school year. Recognize that we're coming off a COVID period where so many things were, were different, so many things were quite frankly upside down to, to a large degree, and experience for our students was so different. So we're excited about this coming school year, and I think this is symbolic of the type of growth, the type of improvement, the type of things that we want to do going to the school year. We are certainly excited about the opportunity to have parents back in our schools, to, to have volunteers back in our classrooms. We're excited about working with our PTAs to make them even stronger partners uh, with our school community. We're excited about some of the new programs we have in place. We've been working hard all summer, many people working hard all summer from our custodians to our technicians to our transportation to our food personnel to our, you name it. There's been so many people working behind the scene to ensure that when our schools open on next Wednesday for our students, next Tuesday for our staff, that people are coming back to a place where they know that we have invested to ensure that our students have a great opportunity for a wonderful school year. And so initiatives such as a new EMT program collaboration that we have with the town and the EMT programs that go beyond the wall of Shenandoah, where we're trying to figure out how can we impact the workforce. Because we recognize that, that the workforce right now, it's a, it's a challenge for us. We're still hiring teachers. We're still hiring staff. And while that's the case, we're so excited to have already hired over 70 new employees to our school district. So we're embracing those challenges and looking forward to a great school year. We still have challenges surrounding transportation, but we're excited that transportation has upgraded their GPS system so that parents can track now when a bus might be on time, particularly during the winter months when we know that traffic could be some kind somewhat inconsistent. So we're excited about those type things. So the 22-23 school year promises to be a great year for our students. We're ready to support their learning needs. We're ready to support their psychological needs. And we're even ready to support their nutritional needs. And what I mean by that, I don't know if you've been following the laws, but last year we were privileged that all our students were able to receive free lunch at no cost. But this year, because of changing federal standards, we have to go back to charging lunch. But I'm encouraging parents to apply. If you think you might qualify for free and reduced lunch, apply. It doesn't hurt to apply. Apply because we want to, again, provide our students with the best opportunities. So as superintendent, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to start another school year. It's going to be a great year. It's truly going to be a great year. So again, looking forward to next Tuesday with all our staff and teachers coming back. And next Wednesday, where we have 10,000 beautiful minds show up to campus. And we're ready to embrace them. We're ready to, to build those bridges so they can, in fact, be successful. Or as I fondly say, we want to bring out the genius in every child. So parents, thank you very much. Shen community, thank you very much. Faculty, staff, administration, board of education, thank you very much. The 22-23 school year is going to be a great year. Looking forward to it. Thank you all.